I don't have quite the right supplies, but I'm gonna try something new today anyways. Jelly. Press. You watch someone use a product, and you think, wow, I want that. You buy it, and then you don't use it at all. Familiar pattern to you? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. Welcome back, I'm Carrie at Inkill Revival, and I'm all about helping you make more with the card making supplies you've got. Today, I wanna help you get out of that lose-lose situation where your craft budget's spent and you're maybe even feeling guilty because you're not using the products you bought. I'm gonna show you how to break that cycle and stick around to the end because I'm also gonna show you how I pull all my experiments today into some cards. You might think I'm just jelly printing away here, same as everyone else, but I don't own any jelly press supplies. I'm just using what I've got after watching Ingrid's jelly press tutorials, which are amazing, by the way. I've linked them in the description for you. But hey, did you catch that? I saw someone use a product and I didn't go buy it. Check out what I did instead. In this case, I raided my stash and my whole house for usable jelly printing goods. First, I needed a jelly press. So I've got the back of a couple regular photopolymer stamps here a 6x6 six six background stamp, and a smaller rectangle stamp. I even found some wannabe brayer options. I also tried out a couple different rolling pins, like this Play-Doh roller, and my kid's silicone rolling pin from the kitchen, plus my big honking one wrapped in some press and seal to protect it. And you know what? All of them worked. Some were more enjoyable to use than others this look-alike it's my favorite i found it in the tool shed it's from when my husband installed a roof membrane using this roller and his heat gun hmm. that all sounds awfully familiar to what i do maybe that's why he rocked his very first card design with me last month i'm gonna link that for you in the description too now i also didn't have the best paint products on hand in fact a lot of these acrylic paints are from my mother-in-law's stash like 15 years ago and if I were in a zero paint situation, well, then there's always inks. I get that hacks aren't the most ideal way to make. That's a given, they're just a workaround. Sometimes they take a little more time or you get a different end result than the real deal, but what you gain by hacking something is huge. You know if you enjoy the technique or product. You're now familiar with the process, so it's not a big deal to pull out and use the real deal right away when it gets here. And a happy surprise is sometimes the hack is good enough to just keep on using. Let me share what I found out about myself and jelly printing from my hack trial run. First, it can be messy. I've never experienced a more messy mess in my craft space than this jelly printing experience. Ever. Here's after my first go. Now, I did come up with some ways to keep everything a little more orderly on my second go, but the mess just blew my mind. I realized if I were to invest in jelly printing, I'd need to carve out a little more space in my craft room for paint storage and even a little more table space. Choosing to buy a product isn't just about the money spent, it's also about storing caring for and using that product. So even inexpensive items deserve a trial run. Second, color is everything. And I love color. The success of my jelly prints relied on pairing the right colors. Ones that didn't muddy each other up, but mixed brightly and beautifully. Where and how the colors were layered on the jelly press made a huge difference, and this intrigues me. Third, I'm an impatient maker. Waiting on the final jelly prints to sit and dry fully before I pulled them up was painful. Ingrid has an awesome tip <laughs> where you feel it, and if your jelly print is cold, don't touch it, it's still drying. But if it's warm, it's ready to go. Even knowing that, I still was peeking and pulling on my corners. And you can see, look, it didn't pull up where I pulled it. Leave it alone. That's a struggle for me. Fourth, pulling prints is amazing. It's just about the most satisfying thing ever. 
fifth, I don't do grunge. I had this stack of jelly prints and realized I had no idea what to do with them. I've never done grunge cards before, and honestly, I don't even use patterned paper much, which my brain was kind of comparing these prints to. Albeit, these are way more beautiful. So what did I decide after my jelly printing trial run? Well, hang on, because I wasn't 100% sure yet, and the card designing process might have just changed my mind. But let me know in the comments, have you tried jelly printing before? What'd you think? And would you want to hear more about my actual trial run, like the prep, the printing, and cleanup? So there I was, with my finished jelly prints, completely stumped. I generally make very clean, modern cards, so what do I do with this? Anytime I feel this way, I pull out my bin of leftovers, because I can shuffle around some sentiments and images and actually see my designs. That helps me work through creative blocks. What I started to see is jelly prints could have a modern vibe. Using principles like simple designs, using white space, high contrast colors, geometric shapes, those were all pulling the grunge into my making style. And you know what? The grunge started pulling me into a whole new style realm. It stretched my design skills. These cards, there's something I never would have made. Instead of saying jelly printing's not for me, like I thought after my first go, I'm thinking it might be a really good way to stretch myself creatively. And I do love pulling those prints, my goodness. But I need some more trial runs to see if I'm really serious about sticking with it. Good thing this hack was a total success. So maybe I'll just keep roof rolling this 15 year old paint onto my background stamps. Are you interested in more supply hack ideas? Meet me at this next video. I'll show you how to trial run making interactive cards with your on hand supplies.